Today I'm going to show you how to set up your controller on your Windows PC, specifically through Steam. Steam supports a lot of controllers. Xbox controllers, DualShock controllers, the Switch Pro controller, Logitech gamepads, Razer gamepads, even the SteelSeries gamepads. The list goes on. We could be here for a while. Just know that it, it really is a lot. And I'll include the list of the supported controllers down below where you can go ahead and search for whichever controller you've got, whether it's, you know, your standard Xbox controller or some no name brand, it might be included in the list. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to set up the three most common controllers, the PlayStation DualShock controller, the Xbox One S controllers and newer, and the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. Now, a lot of controllers can be used both wired and wireless as long as they've got Bluetooth. With your Xbox controller, make sure that it is the One S variant or newer. Um, I believe the new Series X and Series S controllers will also have Bluetooth. Um, but the original Xbox One controllers that had the separated front panel around the home button are not Bluetooth and can only be used in a wired fashion. You can also use the Xbox One controller that was specifically made to be wired for use on PC. Now, the DualShock controller is very easy to set up. If you want to do wired, just grab a micro USB cable. You're going to plug it into the back here. And you're gonna plug the other end into your computer and that's it you're good to go your controller will be recognized by your computer all right now if you're going to be using the dualshock controller as a wireless controller what you first need to do is go to the start and just type in bluetooth and you're gonna go ahead and do add bluetooth or other device you're gonna choose Bluetooth. So on the DualShock controller, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold the PlayStation button and the share button at the same time until you get that flickering light, okay? And so once you have that flickering light, you can go ahead and this wireless controller will be your DualShock controller. And there you go, solid light. Uh, the controller's now connected, you're good to go. So once you've got the controller connected, you can go to Steam, go to your settings, hit controller, and then go to general controller settings. This will open up big picture mode, the controller settings of big picture mode to be exact. And now you can go ahead and edit your settings. So you can rename this controller. You can change if you want to turn rumble on or off. You can also change the light color um, to kind of whatever you want it to be, which is kind of nice. Uh, you can change the brightness of that light, so you can just turn it off entirely if you want. And you can kind of change its saturation uh, to be more white or have more color. You can also use this to calibrate the controller, and you can customize a whole bunch of stuff in there as well. Um, so this kind of shows where the controller is. Um, and it show it'll like kind of figure out where the dead zones are on the on set controllers, and you get a lot of flexibility on that. You can also do the gyro um, calibration on here. Now, if you noticed, I had PlayStation configuration support uh, checked, which means that it automatically loads a profile for the DualShock controller. So now, if you want to do the Xbox controller, very similar process. If you want to do wired, just go ahead and grab your cable, plug it in on top, and plug in the other end into your computer and you're good to go. If you want to do wireless, however, you're going to go to the same area in Windows, uh, Bluetooth, and you're going to go ahead and do add Bluetooth or other device and Bluetooth. And this time what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and turn on the controller. And then you're going to press the linking button on the top here until you get the quick flashing. Add Bluetooth device. Xbox wireless controller. Now once it connects, The light will go solid and you're connected. Uh, similar setup on Steam, you're gonna go ahead Steam, Settings, Controller, Controller Support. You're gonna see that I have the Xbox configuration support checked here. 
and the only preferences you do get on the xbox controller is whether you want to have rumble on or off and its name now a nice thing about the xbox controller is that you can redefine its actual layout um and you can kind of switch around where buttons are and what you want them to do which is really awesome now the pro controller is also a pretty similar setup but the only difference worth wired is that you're gonna have to use a USB-C cable um, that came with it as well. Plug it in on top, and then you plug the other end into your computer, or you can do wireless. Same thing as before, you go ahead and go to the Bluetooth settings. So on the Switch controller, what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn on the controller, and then you're gonna hold this little button on the top here beside the USB-C port until you get that flashing back and forth. Now you can go ahead and add your Bluetooth device. And you're going to see Pro Controller. And once that connects, you will see that stops scrolling back and forth and you're good to go. Now, just like the other ones, you go into your settings, controller, controller settings. And Pro Controller also has its own support. And you get your calibrations, you can get your preferences here. So the cool thing about the Pro Controller on the PC is the home button actually lights up. And with this little slider here, you can control the brightness of that. Um, again, you can control your rubber preferences. Um, you can also control the haptic back, back um, feedback, and you can change the name. Now, one final thing to note about these three controllers, especially the DualShock controller, is that it will not shut off on its own unless you set this controller shutdown time. So make sure you set it to a time that you deem reasonable and the controller will eventually shut off. Um, that's the one thing about the DualShock controllers, especially since they don't have a removable battery, um, like the Xbox controller, if you wanna just turn it off, you can just pull the battery out. So just keep that in mind because you don't wanna just be sitting with a dead controller next time you boot up. So as you noticed, the setup for a Bluetooth controller on Windows is all very similar, no matter which one you're going with. So even if you have uh, a non-standard controller, as long as you figure out how to activate its Bluetooth pairing mode, you can go into the Windows Bluetooth settings and you should be able to find it and set it up. And one last thing, you can use the Nintendo button layout setting to change all of your controllers to be the Nintendo standard of XYAB instead of the Xbox standard of YXPA. It's a really good one if you're very used to the Nintendo Switch Pro layout or if you've been using Nintendo for your whole life and you like switching the controls around on the other controllers, you can go ahead and use that, it's pretty great. And that's it for this video. If you guys found it helpful, please consider liking and subscribing, uh, hitting that bell icon if you wanna be notified of my future videos. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below or go ahead and join the Discord where you can you know, have some more in-depth discussions with us. Um, myself and the community are all really great and we like helping out whenever we can, so feel free to hop in there. And as always, I stream on Twitch from Friday until Tuesday. Come check me out, come say hello. And if you have any questions, you can ask them there and I'll try to help you out while I'm streaming as long as I'm not you know, knee deep into a CSGO game. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, see you guys next Friday.